Hey everyone, my name is Kevin Davies. I go by Cortexian Online. Now we're gonna be looking at the Rebel Factions and how their skills and unlocks allow you to perform different tasks in Ghost Recon Wildlands. Some of these skills are gonna require you to upgrade or unlock them before you can actually use them. For example, here, we're currently acquiring a Rebel Spotting Skill upgrade, which will allow us to use the Rebel Spotting Skill in an upcoming mission. Now that we're actually at somewhere where we can use our Rebel Spotting Skill, we're going to get into position here and get ready to use it. To use Rebel Spotting, you're going to open up your command wheel here, scroll down to the very bottom where it says Spotting, and at this point here, you can see that it's actually giving me a little white zone marker. Now, anywhere that I place this while looking will actually start up the spotting skill and basically get the Rebels to spot the location for me. However, you can also do this from the drone view, as you can see here. Using the spotting skill while in the drone view is going to give you a much better vantage point on where the enemies may actually be and really help you deploy the spotting skill to the best of your ability. Now obviously once all the bad guys are spotted you can move in, complete the objectives you need to, or acquire any of the skills or upgrades that you're looking to grab. The next rebel ability we're going to be talking about is the Mortar Strike. So to call in Mortar Strikes and upgrade Mortar Strikes you're going to have to do these Rebel Radio Defend missions. Essentially the way it works is you activate the keypad here, which starts a broadcast. You then need to defend the radio broadcaster from any cartel bad guys or Unidad bad guys that may show up. In this instance, we're actually going to use a mortar strike to defend the radio position. So open up your command wheel, select mortar. I'm currently in the drone view, but you can do this from a regular view as well. And then once the bad guys get into a nice stationary position, you can drop some indirect fire on them. As you can see here, we've got indirect fire coming in from our friendly rebel soldiers, and they're really messing up the Sicarius. So, once you complete the rebel radio missions, you will unlock upgrades for your mortar strikes, and they are obviously a very effective tool to use in your adventures in Bolivia. Now we're going to take a look at the rebel vehicle drop-off ability. Just like the other abilities we've looked at so far, you can access it by pulling up the command wheel here. With helicopter selected, you simply click, and a helicopter is delivered to your local location. Typically all the vehicles will spawn with a little green smoke marker as well, giving you an indicator as to where they are. And once the vehicle has stopped sliding down the hill, because helicopters have a tendency to do that in this game, you can hop on in and use that vehicle to continue your adventures within Bolivia. The Rebel Diversion ability allows you to call in a couple of Rebel Soldiers to start a diversion at the location that you specify using the Command Wheel menu. As you can see here, we're going to call in a diversion at that location on the other side of this group of Sicarios on the road that will allow us to engage the three nearest guards while they're turning and engaging those Rebel Soldiers. You can see it's pretty effective as these guys didn't even know what hit them as we started to engage. So, playing Wildlands with me today, we've had Andrew, Zeronian, Dustin, or Duster Buster, Tony, Chaotic Fate 00. We had a blast playing the game today, and we had a blast playing it during the beta. Uh, hopefully, you guys were able to pick up some tips and tricks to provide you to make your gaming experience better. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you guys later.